You guys, we have a extremely lucky, positive, optimistic, and fortunate new moon happening in the sign of Sagittarius on November 23rd. You do not want to miss this because we actually have really good and positive news. So stay tuned. This is a love and light new moon, okay? This is a new moon that is bringing with it the light at the end of the tunnel. It is bringing with it the light of Jesus shining down on us and all ascended masters that have ever been, that have ever existed. It's, it's coming, okay? The light is coming. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm being very fucking dramatic. Can't you tell? And don't go anywhere. Do not skip down to the timestamps. You do not want to miss the beginning of this video because as always, it's fire and you're missing out on a shit ton if you skip ahead. So, Stay with me, bear with me, let's chill. What is up my spiritual and astrology badasses out there? Welcome back to the channel. It is your astrology and spiritual bestie here on the internet, Tawny Michelle. If you are new here, if you're not, welcome back. And if you are, let me know down below, is this your first time here? Did YouTube actually recommend my videos? Because oh, that would just be amazing. That would be like a Christmas present and a half. Thank you very much. So we are here, okay? We are here in this bitch on this Sag new moon that is coming on November 23rd. Let's freaking talk about it. In this video, I'm going to talk about what this means for all of us and then what this means briefly for your rising sign. But you want to stay tuned for the first part of this video. You don't want to just skip to your rising sign because that's just short and brief and the beginning of this video is where it's at. This is the stuff that you need to know. So don't go anywhere just yet. Let's get straight into this. We have a new moon happening in the sign of Sagittarius, okay? Sagittarius is a fire sign. It is wild. It is carefree. It wants to roam. It wants to move forward. It is focused on going big or going home. That is the energy of Sag. Like it is focused on the bigger picture, the bigger vision, our bigger philosophies, our bigger ideologies, and where we go from here, right? Sag wants to move forward. So we just got out of Scorpio season, which was very intense, right? We just got out of eclipse season while we were in Scorpio season. So it was like triple intense. Okay. So if you had a rough time in November, you're not alone. This is why we just had a series of eclipses that were like life changing, a big deal, turbulent energy. Okay. That can bring up crisis that can bring up a lot of karmic stuff from the past that needs to be released so we can move on right now. Now that we are in Sagittarius season and we have this new moon in Sag, this is the moving on part, okay? This is where we move forward. This is where we've been in this extremely long tunnel, okay? Like underground, there's been like a war going on on top of us and we're trying to get through this tunnel. We've been traveling forever and then we see a light, we see a light and we're like, oh my gosh, hope is here, okay? And this is not just a trick of the eye, this is a real light, we are at the end of the tunnel, okay? We are at the end of the tunnel and this is why Sagittarius season is towards the end of the year like this because people are focusing on their long-term goals, where they wanna go from here. There, a new vision is occurring for where we wanna be in the year ahead, where we wanna go in the year ahead and what we want for ourselves. We are feeling more ambitious. We are feeling dreamy. We are focusing on our bigger vision for our life, our future and what we wanna do while also no longer bullshitting ourselves because Scorpio season has cleared away all the bullshit. It has cleared away all the shit that we don't need we have transformed and this is where we rise from the ashes okay so this is like a phoenix rising time where we can truly step into something that is more hopeful and optimistic right something that that brings us more faith and more openness more freedom for us to be who we really are and go towards the things that we really want to go towards sagittarius is where we find meaning and purpose in our struggles so the struggles that we were going through in scorpio season and that felt you know very difficult very intense very chaotic very complex sagittarius allows us to find meaning in those struggles. It allows us to find a sense of purpose and it gives us more sense of freedom that we've just went through this huge metamorphosis and have come out the other side. Therefore, we have more faith in ourselves. We're ready to be more adventurous. We are ready to spread our wings and fly. We are ready to go. It's bringing in 
this sense of limitlessness, right? Because we've had all these restrictions, all these limits and Scorpio season, all this chaotic shit that's been happening where we've had to really, like our limits have been tested, right? We've had to face things that were scary. We've had to face fears. We've had to come up against boundaries. We've had to come up against our own personal limits. We've had to do shadow work. We've had to do all this intense stuff. Now that we are moving into Sagittarius season, it is giving us a sense of limitless because we have faced so much shit that there's nothing else that can be used against us at this point, right? It's like, we got nothing left to lose. We are going for it, right? And this is why when we go through a dark transitional period in our life, when we go through a deep, intense, dramatic change in our life, we can oftentimes end up finding that that ends up being a launch pad for us. It ends up showing us what's really important. It ends up showing us where we want to expand. It ends up showing us what we want for our future, right? And this is why I often say rock bottom is a launch pad. This is why so many people hit a major bottom and then, you know, completely just expand, completely just are set on fire and end up doing amazing things. This is the Sag energy. So this is that part of the transformational process where we've been through the hard stuff, we've been through the really difficult, icky stuff that's been difficult to face. And now we are at this part where we rise from the ashes, where we literally are like, okay, like I'm, I'm focused on the big picture now. I see things in a whole new way. I have a whole new outlook on everything. I'm ready to go for what I really want. I'm ready to do the things I really wanna do. A lot of these things are visions. A lot of these things are where our spirit is feeling called to, what we feel passionate about, the bigger ideas that we have, you know, what, what sets our soul on fire, so to say. So because a new moon is happening here, a new moon is a new beginning, basically. So this is a new beginning in fiery, adventurous, Sagittarius. So this is a optimistic, adventurous, like lucky, fortunate, expansive new beginning somewhere in our lives, wherever you have Sagittarius in your chart. And we will talk about that here in a few. So not only do we have this new beginning, this optimistic, expansive new beginning somewhere in our lives that's like jolting us forward, that is jolting us ahead, that is showing us a, a broader view, a broader vision of what we really desire, where we're really headed. Now that we've shed all the dead weight that no longer serves us, we also have Jupiter in a loose trine with this new moon. And Jupiter is the ruler of this new moon. So this is a big freaking deal, right? Like, and Jupiter is in its other traditional sign of Pisces that it rules. So this is a big deal. This is a very Jupiterian new moon. And Jupiter brings so much expansiveness. It's very much about what is aligned with us and what isn't. It's about our belief systems. It's about our faith. It's about the higher meaning of things, right? A lot of the things that Sag rules and a lot of the things that Pisces rules. So Jupiter is really bringing its luck, its expansion, its hope, its optimism, its faith, its spiritual alignment into this new new moon. It's going to be infused into this new moon. So it's going to ripple for the next couple of weeks. So this is so much more than just you know, the day of the new moon on the 23rd, this is going to ripple for the next couple weeks, you guys. So, and you guys, this is a big freaking deal as well, because Jupiter is going to go direct. It's been retrograding for several months. Okay. It is going to go direct literally like an hour or so after this new moon. So this new moon is happening like right around the time that Jupiter is stationing direct, it's going to start moving forward. So we've been wrapping up lessons in our lives with Jupiter and Pisces since the very end of last year, like the last week of December of 2021 until I want to say April or May. So something was started in that time frame, mainly like this, this past spring. So spring 2022, something was started in our lives. We were shown something. We were shown something that was a big deal to do with our beliefs, our ideologies, our philosophies, our faith, our optimism, you know, things like this. We were shown something. And then Jupiter move signs went into Aries. And so this summer, we were kind of reflecting on those things. And then this fall, we were also like going back and reflecting on those things. And then now Jupiter is moving uh, forward. Okay. And so now we are wrapping up these lessons that Jupiter has been teaching us in Pisces since earlier this year. So this new moon is coming with some major expansion, some major optimism, some major 
hope for the future, some major new insights and outlooks and beliefs and perspectives where we may be learning something new. This is marking an era of like learning massive lessons that we've learned this year. And this is kind of marking the new era where we start being able to apply these new lessons and move forward in our lives and be able, and where we're able to see a new vision because of the lessons we've been learning with Jupiter and Pisces this year. I feel like this new moon is also really showing us our potential. Like that is a huge one that's coming up for me here is like, it's showing us our true potential, like what we're really capable of and what we like a new vision for our futures and how we can move forward with more optimism and more faith in something higher than ourselves. So this is a very like inspiring new moon. Okay, this is a very inspiring new moon. It's really bringing in like a lot of things that we've been integrating all year and it's kind of starting this new beginning where we get to integrate those those new beliefs these new perspectives these new outlooks and actually infuse those in a higher vision that we are moving towards with this new moon in sagittarius so this new moon is bringing in so much optimism so much luck so much potential like this new moon is going to feel very expansive and just very hopeful i think for a lot of people let me know if you stayed all the way until this point if you watched the first part of this video if you did you are a badass before we get into the rising signs i do just want to quickly say that if you would like more content from me or if you would like to learn astrology and learn your birth chart join us over on Patreon. It's still not too late to join my astro course that I'm doing over on Patreon. It's $40 a month and you get everything else on Patreon and you can cancel at any time. But even if you don't want to do that, join my Patreon. Still, you, there's other membership options. You can join for $5 a month, $15 a month, $25 a month and get exclusive content. So definitely make sure you join us over on Patreon. I'm doing a lot of exclusive stuff. And in December, I'm actually going to be doing a lot of 2023 stuff even 2023 readings for some of the membership. So if you are interested, definitely join my Patreon. And then also I have a manifestation program starting very, very soon. It is called Manifest Her. And it is going to be a month long program all about manifestation and also energetics, quantum manifestation, feminine energy, masculine energy, stepping into your feminine energy to manifest and how to use masculine energy as well all of the good stuff that you do not want to miss like people will come out of this program and feel so freaking confident with themselves and be able to be so in love with themselves and also know what they're doing with manifestation like this manifestation program is going to be so freaking good i am so freaking excited but we start very very soon so if you're interested see the description below and i'm going to do a whole separate video talking about it as well so with that being said we are gonna go ahead and get into the rising sign. So your rising sign will re resonate most, so do keep that in mind and let go. Okay, starting with you, Sagittarius. Happy birthday if you are a Sag sun, by the way, but this will likely resonate more if you are a Sag rising unless this new moon is happening right on your sun. So if your sun is right at the beginning of Sagittarius, like anywhere from zero to maybe five degrees, you're definitely going to be feeling this new moon. So this could somewhat resonate to you as well. But as I always say, when a new moon is happening in your first house, new moon, new you, this is a time of really, really wrapping up all the lessons that you've learned in the past year and applying them to yourself, integrating them and moving forward in your life with them. This is a time of integrating all that you've experienced, new perspectives and a new sense of yourself, a new sense of identity. You know, like it's been rough. If you're a Sag rising, you've been going through all of this purging, all of this letting go, all of these endings, all of this releasing of toxic subconscious behind the scenes shit, old patterns, old subconscious cycles, self-sabotaging cycles, you know, all of these behind the scenes things that have been affecting your day-to-day -day life or that have been kind of, you know, bothering you or that just need to go that are just no longer aligned with you. You've been really doing a lot of work on releasing those things. And so there could have been like an ego death for a lot of you. And now you're kind of stepping into this new sense of self, this new sense sense of confidence in yourself, this new sense of self-worth. Now this 
may not happen right on the new moon on the 23rd, okay? Because a new moon is dark. So it takes a little bit for events and experiences and things to come up, right? So this is just the start of something that's going to start forming over the next few weeks. If you're a Sag rising where you are going to start stepping into this new sense of self, this new way of perceiving yourself, this new way of looking at yourself, this new outlook on yourself and your life and what feels meaningful to you, what feels purposeful to you and where you're going from here, what you want to do from here, right? And so this time is all about you, Sag. This is all about getting back to who you are, getting back to yourself, figuring out who you are, if you've been feeling a little bit lost and how to integrate what you've learned moving forward. So keep that in mind. And Jupiter is also involved, your ruling planet, your chart ruler, if you're a Sag rising. And Jupiter is in your fourth house where it is going direct right around this new moon. And so there will be a lot of forward momentum happening in terms of your home, your family, your personal life, things that have been going on, you know, behind the scenes or just personally in your life or the past or family or parents or your living situation. So something could definitely finally move forward there, or you could have this new perspective in terms of your family, your home life, your past, your personal life that you've been integrating that you're now moving forward with as a sense of who you are. Okay. So let me know, Sag, down below if that resonates. And also, if you would like more from me, make sure to join my Patreon Everything is linked down below. You can learn astrology on my Patreon. You get weekly content. And then also uh, I do personal readings still if you would like to book a reading during the holidays or for somebody in your family. And then also I have a manifestation program starting very soon. Everything you can find linked below. So make sure that you're checking that out. Love you, Sag. We are going to move on to... Capricorn. So Capricorn besties, hello. This new moon is happening in your 12th house. Ooh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's okay because I feel like even though it's the 12th house, this is a very positive new moon overall. This it's, it's bringing in a fresh new perspective and outlook, but you may not feel it or see it at first. It could take the next couple weeks to really show itself, right? Because this is happening in your 12th house. So this is a time where you may feel a little bit more introverted, where you may feel a little bit of a need to pull back and to get back into something that really sets your soul on fire, something that you know, feels a little bit more freeing for you, right? Sagittarius as a sign is about freedom. It is about being free spirited and limitlessness, right? And so with this happening in your 12th house, this tells me that maybe you need a break from your day-to-day -day busyness and you need to go on a trip, you need to travel, or you need to go to the library and read some philosophy books or something, or you need to kind of get into maybe uh, some philosophical or spiritual practices that are making that make you feel good or get back into beliefs that maybe have taken a back seat, you know, and really look at what you're believing subconsciously and how that is maybe affecting you in your life right now, right? So this could also be getting into subconscious beliefs and how that is directing the flow of your life right now and really maybe reframing those beliefs, right? So this is really a new beginning, a new start that could be showing Showing you where there is expansion and taking a step back, right? Where you can expand forward by maybe taking a step back or doing something a little bit more behind the scenes or releasing, letting go, something along those lines. Now, Jupiter is also going direct and is heavily involved with, the, with this new moon. And Jupiter is going direct in your third house of communication in your day-to-day -day environment, your day-to-day -day shit, basically, right? So uh, Jupiter going direct here is possibly bringing in a sense of, you know, your day-to-day -day life, your day-to-day -day communications, your day-to-day -day environments in some way, or how you need to communicate or the people that you're around and how that may be playing into some of what you're feeling with this new moon. So this could be bringing in uh, more ins inspiration or more luck, but it's kind of also taking you behind the scenes in some way, shape, or form. So let me know if that resonates down below, Capricorn. I'd love to hear your feedback and what is happening for you for this new moon and what you see coming up. So definitely let me know. And then also, if you are not on my Patreon, you definitely need to sign up if you would like exclusive content weekly. I'm also teaching astrology over there. <laughs> so for the top membership, you can take my astrological course. You can still sign up for that. So make sure if you're interested that you check that out and 
and uh, also I'm still doing personal readings so if you'd like to book a reading for the holidays hit your girl up everything's down below that you need and then also I have a manifestation program starting very very soon so if you're interested everything is linked down below so thank you Capricorns love ya let's move on to Aquarius so Aquarius this new moon for you well that was super weird I swear I swear it just felt like someone placed their hand on my shoulder that was wild like oh my god but I could see in the camera that that's not like that there's no one there so whoa okay anyway sorry Aquarius this new moon for you is happening in your 11th house boo so this is a time a new beginning happening okay in terms of your acquaintances your friend groups your networking life okay are you getting out and socializing who are you talking to who have you been around okay what are you doing with your life where are you going who are you seeing all of those things who are you connecting with on social media what kind of groups do you belong to what kind of uh different you know different groups or different friend groups do you belong to you know do, are you in are you in some kind of program where you're in a group with a group of people inside of that program you know what are like the different little groups that you belong into online or in real life or whatever and then also what are your aspirations as well this new moon is really bringing up those things so this new moon is a brand new spanking beginning in this area of your life where this could be a time where you start surrounding yourself with new kinds of people meeting different kinds of people from different backgrounds different experiences where you really want to start learning and growing and expanding in terms of the people that you're connecting with who you're connecting with and the different aspirations that you have okay now on top of that this new moon is heavily influenced by jupiter and involved with jupiter and jupiter is also going direct on this new moon and so this uh, Jupiter for you is in your second house of money honey money resources finances what you need right what you value your priorities and so in some way this new moon could be tying into that as well where you are starting to value different things in terms of maybe who you surround yourself with or the types of people that you're involved with etc or maybe you start to have a different perspective on your social life or on your aspirations and things like that and somehow maybe you hit, get the chance to you know actually fulfill something that you aspire to do because maybe there is some kind of financial windfall that comes in or something right so this could be extremely fortunate and lucky in terms of networking other people and money and so what that could also mean is that maybe you've decided that you want to teach something or that you want to sell something and it's actually successful around this time or over the next couple of weeks after this new moon so let me know down below if any of that relates aquarius and what you do see coming up for this new moon and then also if you are not on my patreon what are you doing i have exclusive content over there weekly that you don't want to be missing and i will also have really important content coming in december for 2023 that you don't want to miss and then i also teach astrology over there for the top membership option so if you're interested definitely check out my patreon you can still sign up and then also i do personal readings still and i have a manifestation program starting very very soon so if you're interested everything is linked down below pisces so if you are a pisces rising this new moon is happening in your 10th house darling like wow okay so you guys <laughs> this new moon is happening in your 10th house so this is a time of like massive expansion and massive potential being shown to you in terms of your future your outlook on your life and the world and what you want to do in your life okay so this can feel like a a massive expansive optimistic full moon bringing in tons of insight or a new outlook with it over these next couple of weeks as this new moon really you know develops into what this is bringing up for you into your destiny, into your path, into something that is going to bring you a sense of meaning and purpose and fulfillment in your career and what you're doing in the world and your long-term goals and the things that you want to achieve in your life and your life in general, the direction of your life. Like all of these things are getting brought up with this new moon and Sag for you. And it's really tying into Jupiter, which is going direct in your sign Pisces. So not only is this an expansive new beginning happening in terms of your career, your long-term goals, your path, your achievements, your direction in life, but also it is also affecting you, your identity, what you desire and 
where you're going in the world and all of that. And so this is a beautiful, beautiful new moon for Pisces. Like this is a big deal. And like I've been telling the other signs, like you may not notice this right on the new moon. Like you could feel some of this energy starting on November 23rd or maybe even leading up to that, but it's really going to unfold more and more as the weeks go on. So just keep that in mind. Like something big may not just drop right on November 23rd. For some people it could, but for a lot of people, this is going to take a little bit to unveil itself, but you're going to be still feeling those underlying energies of like something new or like something optimistic and more hopeful and expansive that is full of potential really happening or taking place in terms of your career, your direction in the world, etc. So if you're a Pisces rising, this new moon is like bad freaking ass for you. I mean, it is giving you a clear vision of the direction of your future, where you're going, what you desire, and it is marking a, a massive new beginning for you. And uh, also like the wrapping up of lessons that you've been learning all year with Jupiter in and out of your sign. And so this is just absolutely beautiful for Pisces. Let me know down below if you're a Pisces rising, if this resonates and what you see happening. I'm really, really curious to know. And then also, if you are not over on my Patreon, what are you doing? If you would like exclusive content from me weekly, make sure to join my Patreon. You can join for as little as $5 a month, or you can join for $40 a month and start learning astrology and your birth chart, how to read charts and how to do what I do basically and in a relatable and easy way. So if you're interested, see my description below. I also still do personal readings. So if you'd like to book some for the holidays, you can see everything below. And then I also have a manifestation program starting very soon. I have a lot going on. Okay. So so if you're interested, see the description below. So moving on to Aries, darling. This new moon is happening in your ninth house of higher learning, education, foreign travel, bigger ideologies and concepts, your political beliefs, your religious beliefs, you know, where you kind of get out of your comfort zone and, and meet people and have new experiences that are unlike what you're used to. And so this is a time where those topics could really, really be coming up for you. This could be a time where you're feeling the need to expand in terms of your education, expand in terms of what you're learning, um, expand in terms of maybe getting a teacher or a mentor of some kind, or maybe you teaching something, you becoming a teacher or a mentor of some kind. Maybe you publishing something, maybe you uh, wanting to book a trip or plan a travel or something like that. So this is a very expansive and optimistic new beginning in those areas. And then Jupiter is actually stationing direct at this new moon in your 12th house. Okay. So this has been a year, Aries, where you've done a lot of healing, where you've done a lot in terms of spiritual works, like releasing different things and letting go of different things and really getting into the mystical areas of life and uh, those areas in between worlds and maybe dreams and, you know, just anything very spiritual with this Pisces energy in your 12th house, you know? And so this definitely, you know, some of these experiences that you had this year could be somehow brought up for this new moon where this new moon is marking a new beginning, a new path, a new way forward for you, a new perspective, a new outlook for you, where maybe you're going to move forward and in, with integrating some of those things that you've learned or some of those experiences that you've had. So for instance, maybe you worked on healing or releasing something really big this year, you know, that, you know, in, in a spiritual way or in a unorthodox kind of way, an unconventional manner. And now maybe you want to go to school for it, you know, maybe you want to go to school for it, or maybe you want to travel. You're like being inspired to, to travel because of it and see what else life has to offer you. You know, maybe it's brought in a new belief system that's really being set in stone with this new moon and showing you a new path forward in some way. But either way, this looks definitely like a very beautiful energy, a very healing energy for Aries rising. So let me know down below if any of that resonates Aries. I'm really curious to see how this new moon is playing out for you guys. And then also, if you are not on my Patreon, what are you doing? Bill <laughs> on my Patreon. I have a ton of exclusive stuff that I do weekly. So if you would like more from me, make sure you join my Patreon. I also am still doing personal readings right now. So if you would like a reading for the holidays, hit your girl up and then uh, it's linked down below. The link is down below if you want to book. And then also I have a manifestation program starting very, very soon. So if you're interested in any of that, see the description below. Taurus rising. This new moon for you is happening in your eighth house of other people's money, honey. So this could definitely be a time 
where you are seeing that become more of a focus money that you owe or money that's owed to you investments that you've made you know financial matters you know maybe your partner's finances things like this could be coming up around this time now it seems to me like this is actually a very positive thing though as we have Jupiter involved and Jupiter being the ruler of this new moon. So Jupiter is in your 11th house of friends and networking. So in some way, maybe you've had, you know, groups of people or somehow, uh, you know, this networking thing going on. And that's also somehow tying into money or finances or investments or something like that. Like you could be making money from other people in some way, or other people could be uh, contributing to something financially for you at this time or with this new moon, or this new moon could bring in the idea for that or a, a new outlook on that or a new path that has to do with that in some way, shape or form. So it should be very interesting. I feel like this is going to be a very inspiring new moon where you're going to be maybe inspired in a direction uh, in some kind of new financial direction, right? Where you're integrating a lot of the things that you've learned off and on throughout this year. So let me know down below, Taurus, if that ends up resonating. And then also I do exclusive content on my Patreon. So if you would like more from me, if you would like weekly exclusive content, and I have 2023 content coming out in December that you don't want to miss, make sure to sign up for my Patreon. I also teach astrology for the top membership over on my Patreon. So if you're interested, definitely make sure to sign up. Don't miss out on that. You can cancel at any time. I also have, uh, I'm still doing personal readings. So if you would like to book a personal reading for the holidays for someone, etc., you can do that on my website down below. And then I'm also doing a manifestation program very, very soon that you don't want to miss out on. Everything is linked down below. So moving on to Gemini Risings, darling. For Gemini Risings, this new moon is happening in your seventh house of other people and relationships. So you're really going to notice this energy in terms of your relationship life, in terms of other people, the people that you have significant close connections with or contractual connections with. Okay, so this new moon in your seventh house is marking a new future oriented beginning happening in terms of your relationships. You also have Venus here in your seventh house, which is really nice. So this could definitely be bringing up a new optimistic and you know uh a, a new optimistic and hopeful beginning in terms of your relationships it could be showing you the potential of certain relationships in your life as well and somehow this is tying in with Jupiter in your 10th house of your future, of uh, your goals, of your achievements, of your career, things like this. And Jupiter, you know, rules this new moon as well. And so you're tying up a lot of lessons that you've been learning off and on throughout the year uh, in some of these areas. And it's being applied to your relationships and what you desire in your relationships and how you want to move forward in terms of your relationships and what you envision for your relationships with other people and how you show up in the world with other people. So let me know down below, Gemini, if this resonates and what you do see coming up for this new moon, because I'm very interested to know. And then also, if you would like more from me, or if you would like to learn astrology, make sure to sign up for my Patreon, okay? My Patreon gets exclusive content every week and the top membership also gets to learn astrology. I'm doing my astrology course over there right now. You can still sign up and you can cancel at any time if you change your mind. Everything is linked down below. I'm also still doing personal readings at the moment. And so if you want to book one for the holidays, you can. That's also linked down below. And then I'm also doing a manifestation program starting very, very soon. And that is linked down below as well. So moving on to Cancer. So for Cancer, if you're a Cancer rising, this new moon is happening in your sixth house of your day-to-day -day life, your job, your day-to-day -day routines, your health, and the task that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. So Cancer, this new moon is marking some kind of new beginning in terms of your work, okay? I really feel like this could be bringing in a new outlook, a new perspective, a new way forward, a new vision for what you want to do in terms of your day to day work life. Okay, so this isn't necessarily like the direction of your career or whole job in general, but it's more so how you want to be treated at work, what you what you want your duties to look like on a day to day basis, what you want for your health, you know, like, this is really bringing up a lot of new perspectives and perspective shifts and outlook shifts 
in terms of your day-to-day -day life and how you're moving forward in those areas and the potential of those areas and maybe you know a new vision for how you want this to look and how and what needs to change in order for you to get there now this is also showing you in a lot of ways your belief systems with jupiter stationing in your ninth house your belief systems and you know what like uh, for instance, I could see this kind of being like maybe you've been struggling in terms of the day-to-day -day reality of your job. Maybe it's not fulfilling or maybe it doesn't give you that sense of freedom or limitlessness that you've been craving, that expansiveness that you've been craving. And so, you know, Jupiter stationing in your ninth is like, you know what, this really just does not align with my morals or my values or my ethics. And so I've realized that I went to I don't want to like continue to work like this for my whole life. Like I want to go back to school. I want to do something that's going to align with me farther in some way, you know? So this could be one way how it plays out. And just, that's just one example, but either way, I feel like there's some kind of new perspective shift or new beginning in some way, starting here with your day-to-day -day life and your routines, your work, your health, et cetera. And it's somehow tying in your higher ideals, your higher philosophies, your higher belief systems, where you want to go or be in the world. And, and, you know, the, you, you're craving a sense of getting out of your comfort zone, ex having new experiences and things like that. And so it's really getting tied into this new moon. So let me know down below, Cancer, if that ends up resonating with you. I would really, really love to hear your feedback on that and what you are noticing come up with this new moon. And also, if you are not on my Patreon already, make sure to sign up if you would like to get exclusive content from me weekly and 2023 content that I have coming up. And then also, I teach astrology over there for the time top membership. So uh, if you're interested in that, you can still sign up. You can get my astro course, learn how to read your chart, learn how to do what I do over here. And then I also do personal readings still at this time. So if you would like to book a reading for the holidays, see the links below. And then I also have a manifestation program starting very, very soon. I'm going to do a whole separate video explaining that. Everything is linked down below though, if you are interested. All right, Leo Risings, darling, my fellow Leo Risings, this new moon is happening in our fifth house baby this is beautiful okay so our fifth house is love romance adventure where we have fun where we feel good where we find our sense of pleasure and purpose and joy what makes our what makes our heart expand you know the fifth house can also rule over children and dating and sexuality and so those are some other topics that we could see coming up with this new moon and such but this new moon is bringing in an expansive and optimistic new beginning in this area so it's really showing us something that we We've been learning on and off over this year with Jupiter moving through Pisces, our eighth house of finances, investments, debt, other people's money and business, you know, any kind of financial exchange. So it's really kind of tying that into this new moon in some way where we are maybe doing something that we're passionate about and f figuring out how to make money from that. Or we have a new creative project, but uh, we're figuring out how to fund that, you know, but it looks, it appears that there's a lot of good luck with this though. So if that is you, I feel like it's going to work out. Now, on top of this though, this could also be child children or child support or something. So a lot of Leo Risings could find that, you know, I don't know, if you have a child support case, this looks pretty fucking positive for that, okay? Um, also, this could be dating and romance. So maybe there's something going on with somebody that you're dating and maybe they have something financial happen, you know, some kind of good financial luck happening or maybe you do, you know? Um, so there's a lot of different ways that this could play out. So definitely let me know if you're seeing any of those themes coming up for this new moon and how you're seeing them because I'm really curious to know how you guys are also seeing this. But yeah, I think at first, you know, a new moon doesn't always, it's not always, you know, instant. So it can take a couple weeks to unfold. But either way, there's an expansive and optimistic new beginning happening here where it's showing us the potential of something creative, a creative hobby, something that it's really getting us back in touch with our childlike energy. What 
fuels our hearts, right? What we love and what's going to bring more fun and passion and play into our lives. And this is why it can rule children and sexuality as well. So anyways, I love you, Leo. Hopefully this resonated. Let me know down below if it did and what you are noticing. Um, so also, if you are not on my Patreon, what are you doing? <laughs> Sign up for my Patreon, Patreon if you would like exclusive content from me weekly. I have a ton of stuff coming in December that you do not want to miss. And then also you can learn astrology by signing up for my top membership on Patreon and you can cancel at any time as well if you change your mind. <laughs> but either way, if you would like to learn astrology or if you would just like to get extra exclusive content from me, sign up for my Patreon. It's linked down below. I'm also still doing personal readings at this time. So if you'd like to get a reading for yourself or someone else for the holidays, that is also linked down below. And I have a manifestation program coming, which I'm going to do a whole separate video on very soon, but it is going to be fire. Okay. It is called manifest her. I don't think I've said the name yet in this whole video, but I'm telling you, okay, Leo risings, because you are my people, <laughs> but I, uh, it is starting very, very soon. I'm going to do a whole separate video on that. So if you're interested, everything's down below, boo. I love you, Leo. Happy new moon. We are moving on to Virgo rising. So for Virgo risings, this new moon is happening in your fourth house, baby. So this is a time where there is some kind of new energy, new beginning, new perspective, new outlook coming in in terms of your personal life, your home and family life, your home, your living situation, your roots, your past, right? And so this new moon can be bringing up a lot of things in those topics and those areas of your life. You could see a new perspective forming on maybe your parents or your past. You could see a new outlook forming on your, your personal life, your living situation. Um, you know, you could finally see a way forward in some area, you know, in terms of your home life or, you know, your, your family, you know, like there's something new and fresh coming in here that's offering you a new fresh outlook and perspective. And it's also playing into your relationships with other people and other people in your life and the, the close relationships and connections that you have with people in your life as well, because Jupiter is stationing direct in your seventh house of relationships. So a new perspective is forming here. A new outlook is forming here and coming in. And it's really kind of feeding, you know, this, this inner security or inner foundation that you have where you want to be free. You want to be limitless. You want to, you know, maybe have new experiences or have new outlooks, have new perspectives in terms of your personal life and where you feel secure, where you feel safe, your roots, where you feel your foundation is, Virgo. So let me know down below, Virgo, what you are noticing come up for this new moon because I'm very curious to know and if this resonates with you. Again, I would really, really like to hear your feedback. So make sure to comment down below and let me know. Plus, that helps out a lot. <laughs> uh, so anyways, as what well, also, if you would like to learn astrology, or get exclusive content from me weekly, make sure to sign up for my Patreon. I am teaching astrology right now for the top membership on my Patreon, but I also have other memberships that just get exclusive content and I have tons of stuff coming in December for 2023 that you don't want to miss. So my Patreon is linked down below if you're interested. And then also I am still doing personal readings. So if you'd like to get a personal reading for yourself or for someone else, you can book down below. And then on top of that as well, I am doing a manifestation program happening very, very, very soon. I'm going to do a whole separate video on that. So everything is linked down below though. If you'd like to sign up for anything, my manifestation program is on pre-sale right now, uh, just so you know. So anyways, I love Love you Virgo. Have a happy new moon and we are going to move on to Libra. Libra risings darling. This new moon is happening in your third house of your day-to-day -day whereabouts, your, you know, who, what, where, when, and why. <laughs> your people, places, and things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis that you, you know, are involved with on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is kind of like your environment, your neighborhood, the things, you know, the different errands that you run on a day-to-day -day basis, the ideas that you have have, how you communicate and express those ideas. So it's somewhat like your self-expression, your you know, your skills and communications on a day-to-day -day basis. So this new moon can actually bring in a lot of creativity, a lot of inspiration, a lot of new ideas, a lot of new outlooks and perspectives, like a fresh perspective could really be coming in for this new moon if you're a Libra rising. And that fresh perspective could also somehow tie in or have something to do with your day-to-day -day work. If your day-to-day -day work life has been feeling a little bit stifled or confusing or something like that, uh, this could start moving forward forward with Jupiter moving direct 
in your sixth house of your day-to-day -day work, health, and routines. And so this could definitely be a time where you're feeling a lot more creative, where you're finally moving forward in this area and you're feeling so much more inspired and maybe you want to travel around more, do different things, get out of the house more. Like, you know, like you could, you could find yourself doing a lot of different things, you know, over the next few weeks, like visiting a lot of different people, having, wanting to have a lot of new experiences and kind of mingle with a lot of different people, maybe going on short trips and things like that. So let me know, Libra Risings down below, if this ends up resonating and what you do see coming up for this new moon. I'd really love to, to hear your feedback. And then also, if you are not on my Patreon, I do exclusive content weekly on my Patreon. I'm going to have tons of things for 2023 coming out that you don't want to miss. And then also I teach astrology. My astrology course just started recently for the top membership on my Patreon. You can still sign up and get access to everything and you can cancel at any time if you change your mind. And then also I am still offering personal readings. If you'd like to get one for yourself or someone else for the holidays, you can see more about that down below. And I have a new manifestation program starting very, very soon that you can also find linked below. So thank you, Libra. I love you. Happy new moon. We are going to move on to Scorpio rising. Scorpio risings, darling. Last but not least, we are finally heading out of your season and it is not all about you anymore. Okay, so I'm sure you've been through a massive death and rebirth, you know, dramatic and intense AF. Uh, but now we are moving into a time for you, Scorpio, that is much more about your priorities, what's important to you, your finances, your income, and your resources what you, you know, like basically what you use to, to make yourself feel secure, to keep yourself feeling good, to feel like yourself, what supports you, right? Where you find your support from. Now, this new moon happening in your second house in Sag could definitely be a new beginning, a new outlook, a new start of some kind that is happening in terms of money, finances, or that which supports you in some way, resources, your priorities. Maybe you are, you know, kind of moving forward in a new way with new expansive beliefs around yourself and what supports you and, and how to move forward in the world in some way. Maybe you are connecting more with what makes you uh, feel good, what brings you a sense of passion and pleasure and, you know, fun in your life with Jupiter involved with this new moon and Jupiter going uh, direct in your fifth house of love, passion, romance, how you have fun. So these are some other area things that you could kind of see coming up with this new moon. And then also you could see the topic of children, sexuality, and dating coming up as well. So I think that you're really moving forward in a new way with what you value in terms of your life, Scorpio. This is going to be more of a lighter time, I feel. This new moon's bringing in a lighter energy where it's like, okay, that was really intense. Like, I definitely right now I'm feeling like I value more more fun, more optimism, more lightness in my life right now, you know, more things that are going to bring me a sense of passion and play and lightheartedness and maybe not taking things so seriously and getting so deep, you know. And um, yeah, I think that you are really finding new meaning and purpose in your life and within your beliefs and, and, on, and learning how to move forward in a way that supports you with that. Okay, so let me know down below. Scorpio if any of that resonates and what you do see coming up for this new moon and then also if you would like more content from me join my Patreon. I have tons of different membership options, very affordable ones on there that you can choose from. I'm also doing an astrology course where you can learn astrology and know exactly what I do and be able to do what I do for the top membership on Patreon and you can cancel at any time. I also still do personal readings. So if you're interested, check everything out down below. And then I also have a new manifestation program starting very, very soon. So if you're interested, see my description below. Everything is linked down there. And with that being said, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.